First Amendment actually protects uh, individual rights to suitable access to television broadcasts, which I didn't know was a First Amendment protection, but apparently it is, and so I guess that's how important TV is to us nowadays. <laughs> um, and so, you know, the, the uh, courts have said that the cities can regulate um, antennas and uh, satellite dishes as long as it's reasonable and it has a clear health, safety, or aesthetic uh, objective and doesn't unreasonably interfere with the individual's rights to <coughs> TV or uh, in this case of the Zubarau case, uh, I apologize to Mr. Zubarau if I'm butchering his name, uh, ham radio uh, antennas. And so this was a case down in Palmdale where uh, Mr. Zubarau constructed a 55 foot tall ham radio antenna in his backyard. And uh, sure enough, 68 of his neighbors complained about it. Uh, my sister used to live in Palmdale, so I guess it's, it's imaginable because they got a lot of suburbs out there with a whole bunch of houses on a tiny, tiny lot of land. But uh, I, I guess it got to everyone in the neighborhood, not only because of the fact that it was a sight for sore eyes, I guess, and it was uh, a health danger. They, were, they feared that in a good wind gust or an earthquake, the thing could come down and take out a few of their houses. It was also affecting all of their uh, own personal electronics. And so the city of Palmdale uh, ordered Mr. Zuberau to take down the antenna uh, because they had an ordinance that said uh, any antenna over 30 foot uh, is, is not allowed essentially. And so the court looked at the ordinance and it first looked at whether it was a valid ordinance and the court actually had a few issues uh, that the ordinance was vague first of all because it said that the antenna, the active portion of the antenna couldn't be more than 30 foot high. And the court didn't know what that meant, what the active portion of the antenna meant. And I quite frankly don't understand that either. But uh, they said that that portion of it was vague. And they also had a, a couple other issues with the ordinance generally, but they still ruled in favor of the city uh, finding that uh, the, the purpose of the ordinance was for the health and safety and well-being of the community. Uh, it didn't step on the FCC's toes in terms of uh, regulation of uh, radio uh, control because that was another issue that came up was whether this should be a federal, a federal issue for the FCC as opposed to an issue with the, the city and whether there was preemption there. And despite those things, the court found that it was actually uh, in compliance with the state and federal laws. It was uh, passed in order to protect the health and well-being of, of the community. And so they sided with the city and said that the, the antenna had to come down. And that's all for that. So if anyone has any questions on, on that case or any others I discussed, uh, please let me know.